All right, kids, uh, I want to spend a few minutes here going over uh, the homework that I have assigned over the last uh, two days, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the first you can see here up on the screen was a, uh, a spreadsheet or an assignment I gave to you on a spreadsheet in which you were asked to determine the number of significant digits in each of these numbers here. Now, these numbers really should represent some type of measurement example number one 2.03 mid but that's 2.03 grams let's see we're measuring uh, the mass of something but i got rid of the uh, units just to make things a little more clear now um the answer to number one is in fact the number three there are three sig digs in that number the two the zero and the three are all significant in number two there's two significant digits all right 1.0 both of them are significant Number three, 2.00, all of them, all three are significant, all right? Now, number four, 0 0.00860, there are only three significant digits. Well, how am I getting these answers? Now, we have to go back, or you need to go back and take a look at oh, the three or four videos that I linked to. Uh, those are the only ones that I recommend. The, there's thousands of videos out there. Uh, on YouTube that explain how you determine number of sig digs. All right, the video that I have linked to, uh, let's see if I could uh, find it here real quick. If we uh, were to jump onto our uh, the stream, I know this up here, stream, the classwork, right, uh, under stream. We would go to September, yeah, let's see, where is it? Right here, September 21st, this one right here that says Precision Accuracy, Measurement and Significant Figures. All right. If you were to click on this link, you would end up with this particular video. I'm not going to sit here and play it, of course, but I can summarize it uh, for you. All right. There's actually two different ways in which uh, the fellow that made that video uh, approaches determining sig figs in a number. One is through a set of just five statements, five rules, and I have those up on the screen right here for you. Number one, non-zero digits are always significant. Non-zero numbers are always significant. Number two, captive zeros are significant. What we mean by captive zeros is zeros that are in between two non-zero digits. Right? They're sort of stuck in the middle of a number. Uh, number three, now we have to be careful here. This is conditional. If a number has a decimal point, then the zeros at the end of the number are significant. He calls them trailing zeros. They are the ones at the end of the number. If a number has no decimal point, then trailing zeros are not significant. And number five, leading zeros in a number are not significant. All right, so if we go back here, um, number one, 2.03, the two and the three are significant. Now the zero is a captive zero, so it is also significant. That would have been rule number two all right, in this list of rules. All right. uh, number two, 1.0, that's two significant uh, digits. Now the one is significant because it's not zero, but it's always the zeros that we have to be uh, careful of. What about this last zero? Well, according to this rule, uh, number three, if a number has a decimal point, which that one does, uh, then the tra trailing zeros are significant. So there you go. How about, uh, well, number three would be the exact same set of rules. That'd be three significant digits. Now how about number four, 0 0.00860? Well, the eight and the six, of course, are significant. Uh, how about the trailing zero here, the one at the end? Well, yes, because it is... Uh, in a number that has a decimal point. That is rule number three. Now, what about the other zeros, the ones out in front, the 0, 0.00? 0. 
Well, those are leading zeros, and leading zeros are not significant. So, for number four, the answer is three significant digits. Okay, well, I, I'm not going to spend any more time uh, going over these. I did uh, post uh, the answers to these today um, somewhere on your stream. If you go, yeah, it's right here. Uh, at the very top of the stream right. so you can check there and I've uh, also taken the time to go through and uh, indicate which digits are significant by uh, just reformatting those digits in red so go ahead and uh, take a look at those and of course if you have questions make sure you ask okay um, now the other method of determining sig digs is a method uh, that's also discussed on that video. It's called the Atlantic Pacific Rule. And you have to imagine in your head uh, a map of the United States. And on either side of that map, you're going to um, you know, list the oceans that are on either side. On the west coast, or the left side of this map would be the Pacific Ocean. And on the right-hand side, or the eastern shore, is the Atlantic Ocean. Now, it's not important that it's, you know, that we know it's Pacific or Atlantic, but that it's P for Pacific. P is going to represent uh, a situation in which we uh, recognize that a number has a decimal point present, and the Atlantic is supposed to uh, represent or call recall on memory um, to use the rules for a situation where a decimal point is absent. Maybe I'm you know, not explaining this too well. So let, let me try to do a, a, an example here. Let's pick from our uh, list of problems. Um, let's see. Problems 14 and 15. The first one we'll do is 14. It's 78,000. So if we go here, let's see if we do this. Right. The way you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to imagine the, the uh, number that you're trying to count sig digs in is written in the center of the uh, map of the continental U.S. So there's the number we're dealing with, 78,000. Now there's also a comma in here. Now if you look carefully at the... Uh, question in number 14, there is no decimal point put on the number, which means that we're going to go down here and take a look at this first set of rules. If a decimal point is absent, like in this case, we're going to start counting from the Atlantic side of the number. In other words, you're going to come in here, and let's say, right, we're going to come in here from the Atlantic side and start looking at this number starting at the zero, right? Now, we, uh, number two here, it says skip over any zeros and begin counting with the first non-zero digit. So we're actually gonna blow past the first zero, we're gonna blow past the second zero, we're gonna blow past the third zero, and we're not gonna count any of these as significant digits, right? You just go right past them. Number three here, though, says we will count every single digit all the way until the end of the number. All right, so we encounter the eight, boom, we're going to count it as significant. We're going to go to the next number, seven, it's also significant. All right, notice here it says count every single digit all the way to the end of the number. It doesn't matter if these are R or R not zeros, by the way. All right, so this is going to be two significant digits. The seven and the eight are significant. The trailing zeros are not. Okay, if we go back here. Uh, all right, let's try uh, problem number 15. All right, we're gonna take our map of the US here and we're going to draw into the center of the map our problem. 
I'm trying to do this freehand with the mouse, so if it's a little sloppy, you have to excuse that. So it's 780 decimal point zero zero zero. Right. Now, since the decimal point is in the number, it is present, we're going to go down here to the second set of rules. If the decimal point is present, we're going to start counting from the Pacific side of this map. We're going to come in from this side and start counting. All right. Number two here it says skip over any zeros and begin with the first non zero digit. Well, the very first digit we encounter, the seven, is non zero, so we count that guy. So that is significant. Number three down here in the rule says we're going to count every single digit all the way until the end of the number. So we're going to go to the digit now 8. That's going to be counted. The 0 also counted. The next 0 also counted. The next one also counted. Until we get the end, everything is counted. With the Atlantic Pacific rule, once you begin counting SIG digs, everything after it also gets counted. Always hours. So in this case, all the digits in this number are in fact significant. So the number of sig digs in the number 780.000 is six significant digits.